What's up guys? Today's video, we are eating the newest fast food items for 24 hours. We have another weekly roundup of new exciting items that look so delicious. The first place that we are going to is actually Sonic because they have new wraps out and they did come out with wraps a few months ago, but these are all new flavors and they sound really good. So we have a bacon ranch queso wrap as well as a Southwest crunch queso wrap. I think I'm gonna get both of them because they both have different ingredients in them that just looks so good I just want to try them both and then they also have a new slushy drink this looks amazing it's called their rainbow slush it says that it is a rainbow inspired slush with blue raspberry real strawberries and lemonade flavor that's as flavorful as it is colorful this slush looks right up my alley so very excited but yeah I will see you guys over at Sonic hi um can I get a bacon ranch queso wrap please could I also get a Southwest Crunch Queso Wrap? And a Rainbow Slush? Um, that's gonna be it. Okay, thank you. All right, you guys, we just carried our Sonic bag. Also, this slush, oh my gosh, it does not look like the picture at all, which I kind of, sh I should have suspected that would happen, but this is very much like an expectations versus reality situation. Oh, that light. This light on my face is gonna drive me nuts. Let me go find somewhere else to park really quick. A few moments later. Okay, I think this lighting is a little bit better, but here is the rainbow slush. So yeah, I feel like it just looks kind of bluish green, but also really dark. So you definitely don't get the rainbow that is in the picture, but I mean, it's still kind of given the summer vibe. So let's see if it at least tastes good. I do see the straw strawberries blended into it so good to know that they do actually put real strawberries in here Ooh. okay the flavor is pretty delicious it definitely tastes like a rainbow slush I feel like growing up we have all tasted at some point a rainbow snow cone or Italian ice that's what it tastes like very fruity but i can also taste the lemonade as well okay now time for the wraps i didn't get any sauce on them because it's supposed to come with queso so the bacon ranch queso wrap it says it comes with bacon ranch queso oh ranch and queso okay shredded cheddar cheese crispy chicken and of course the tortilla and then on the southwest crunch queso wrap we have queso shredded cheddar cheese crunchy tortilla strips and southwest sauce if i had to guess i think i'm gonna like the southwest one a little bit better since it has the tortilla strips on it okay this is the one with the tortilla strips it is very tiny and it's also very flat if i had to compare it to other snack wraps i would say it's slightly smaller than maybe the one at arby's but it's cheaper so oh wow Okay, I gotta say that Southwest sauce plus the queso is phenomenal. Mmm. Wow, that is delicious. Okay, I gotta admit, you guys, out of all the fast food wraps that I have tried, this is definitely one of the best ones. I did love the wraps at Sonic the first time I had them with their other flavors. But something about the sauces on this one, oh, it's amazing. You can't really taste the crunchiness of the tortilla strips. I don't know, you kind of can, but it kind of blends in with the crispy chicken. So it's not as obnoxious of a crunch as, let's say, the tortilla strips at Taco Bell. This is kind of more, like, the crunchiness kind of blends in with the rest of the wrap. That is so good. Honestly, I would give that wrap, like, a 9.5 out of 10. Okay, so this one must be the bacon ranch queso wrap. I don't, will I like this as much? I mean, it is bacon, so obviously it's gonna be good, but. Okay, yeah, this is really good. If you like bacon ranch, this one is for you. 
It's very cheesy, but you can also taste the ranch and the bacon. Hmm. I definitely like the Southwest one more though. That Southwest sauce is so freaking delicious. For the bacon ranch one, I'd probably give it maybe like a 7.5 out of 10, possibly an eight. It doesn't wow me. It's a little bit on the, I feel like bacon ranch is very played out. I'm sure people will disagree with me, but you know, I definitely prefer the Southwest Crunch Queso Wrap. That one is so good. Hey okay, guys, that was Sonic. I will see y'all at our next location for more new fast food items. All right, you guys, our next stop is Dunkin' to try a few items off their new summer menu, which they have so many new items out right now. So I'm just gonna go over all the new items really quickly and then I'll tell y'all what we're getting. So they have a Bonfire S'mores Frozen Coffee, a S'mores Cold Brew, a S'mores Donut, a hot honey bacon sandwich, hot honey bacon wake up wrap, hot honey snack and bacon, and a tornado twist sparked energy drink. They all sound delicious, but I don't wanna get every single item because it is a lot. So I think I'm gonna get their s'mores cold brew because that one kind of sounds a little bit more up my alley. I feel like the bonfire s'mores frozen coffee just seems a little bit too sweet for me. And then we're of course gonna get the s'mores donut. Hopefully they have it in stock. Fingers crossed that they do. And then between the hot honey bacon sandwich and the wake up wrap, I think I'm gonna go with the sandwich because I've had their wake up wraps before and like they're good But we did just have wraps from Sonic. So let's go with the sandwich and yeah I think that's gonna be it, but that is the full new summer menu at Dunkin. Let's go ahead and pop into the drive-thru Hi, um, could I get a s'mores cold brew, please? Um, I'm sorry. I can't really hear you. I don't have any cold brew, but I can do that as a nice coffee Okay, that's fine What size? I'll just do a small, please. All right, anything else for you, love? Yes, do you have a s'mores donut in stock? Um, let me double check. Okay. No, we, do, we are currently out of s'mores donuts. Okay, um, what about the hot honey bacon sandwich? All right, let me make sure I have the bread for that. Honestly, we might get it, that's too. I mean, I can do it on a croissant, maybe just not the bread. Okay, that's fine. All right, I'll do that as a croissant, anything else? Um, can I just get a side of the hot honey snack and bacon? You wanted a side of the bacon as well? Yes, and that's gonna be it. All right, I'll see you up here. Okay, thank you. Dang, you guys, I had a feeling they were not gonna have the s'mores donut, and unfortunately, that feeling was correct. They are out of stock, which makes sense. It is like 12.30 now, so they probably sold out. Hi, how's it going? Oh, you- I, I don't have a croissant here. Do you have any bread? Um, I've got like sourdough. Yeah, sourdough. It's a hot honey bacon chicken sandwich. It's not like, it there's no chicken. What is it again? It's I don't even remember the name it of it. It's like a hot honey bacon and an egg and cheese. Okay, I'll try it on the sourdough. Okay, yeah. like, I'm like, it comes with that too. It comes, it comes as that too, so. Oh, okay, yeah, that's fine. Okay, thank you. All right, you guys, we've secured our Dunkin' bag as well as our coffee. So unfortunately, they were out of a lot of stuff. They were out of cold brew, so instead of giving us cold brew, they made the s'mores cold brew just with iced coffee. I'm hoping it's still gonna be good, but I don't know, we'll see. And then the hot honey bacon sandwich, um, I'll put the description up on the screen. It says that it is a hot honey bacon egg and melted white cheddar cheese drizzled with Mike's hot honey. Ooh, that sounds good. And served on a brioche bun. I don't know why I thought it had chicken on it. For some reason, I just was thinking like hot honey chicken, but yeah, it's just bacon. <laughs> bacon, egg, and cheese. So unfortunately, they didn't have the brioche bun, so I had to get it on sourdough because she said she could put it on croissant bread instead, but then they were out of croissants as well. They were also out of the donuts. I guess that's why they removed donuts from their name because they never seemed to have donuts. Donuts. So instead, I decided to get the snack and bacon. That way, you know, we could still try another food item. My whole car smells like bacon. Let me tell y'all. So here is the snack and bacon. It does look really delicious, just the bacon on its own. Ooh. Okay, it's really sweet but savory at the same time. I do love me some hot honey, so. Their bacon is also just so good. I love how it's a little bit soggy, but not too soggy. 
it's soft but it still has a little bit of a crunch to it okay here is the sandwich Ooh. okay i gotta say even just on the sourdough bread it still looks freaking fantastic. I mean, it really fits perfectly on the sourdough bread. She said you can order it on sourdough bread like normal, so I guess it's not that far-fetched, but yeah, that looks really delicious. I think before we bite into the sandwich, I'm actually gonna try the s'mores iced coffee first because I really wanna try this and see how it is. I'm not gonna use my straw because we have the cold foam on top. Ooh. Okay, so it says that it's marshmallow cold foam and that is really delicious. Even as an iced coffee, it's really good. I feel like it's a little less strong compared to the cold brew because cold brew coffee is gonna have more of that bitter coffee flavor, but this is delicious. I love the crumbles on top and that marshmallow cold foam. It kind of tastes like vanilla, but it also has a little bit of like a smoky flavor to it, almost like a toast of vanilla. Okay, love that so much. Now let's try our hot honey bacon sandwich. Okay guys, this is so good too. I can definitely see how it would be better on a brioche bun, but even on the sourdough, it has a lot of good flavor. I think this may be their best bacon yet. Because they've come out with a bunch of different flavors of that snake and snake in <laughs> of the snack and bacon. This one's delicious. Their sourdough bread is so soft. I don't even think this has any sauce on it. I mean, it's on the drier side, but I've had far more dry sandwiches that actually had a sauce on it compared to this. I do think this would be better though with some sort of sauce. I don't know if they have different kinds of spreads like Starbucks does, but yeah, it'd be good with something. Mm. The best part is hands down the bacon. This bacon is addictive. Wow. Also, you guys, oh my gosh. I want to talk to y'all about A Court of Mist and Fury so bad. I actually finished the book yesterday, I wanna say. I read it pretty much all day, the day before the 4th of July, cause I had off. Gabe also had off from work as well. So he was home and I literally ignored him the whole day reading that book. I was glued to it, absolutely devoured it. Oh my goodness, y'all, I am obsessed with Prithian. If that's even, I'm probably pronouncing that wrong too, like I do everything. <laughs> but it's so good. I am in love with Reese. Like I gotta say, I am officially obsessed with Reese and his relationship with Feyre is just, oh, I love it so much. My only complaint about the book, I'm not gonna go too deep into it, but I just wish there was a little bit more chemistry between Reese and Feyre. Like I feel like a quarter of the book, he's literally flying her around Prithian. And I think there was just a lot more, I feel like there were so many moments for Sarah J to really bring that like fiery chemistry between them. And I just don't think she did. They had a lot of cute flirty moments and he would definitely say things where I was like, oh my gosh, but it just didn't give me butterflies. If that makes sense. I don't know, but I did love the book. So, so, so good so much action it was also way easier to visualize this book compared to the first one like the first one i really struggled with trying to get a grasp of what she wanted us to see with what she wrote but the second one i really could visualize everything and i'm just in love i also love like the deep emotional side to reese and Feyre's relationship he really lets her be who she wants to be he teaches her how to fight how to really hone in on her powers and obviously he doesn't keep her locked up like 
someone did in the book. So it's it's just so nice to see the depth to their relationship. A lot of books nowadays just kind of focus on the fun surface level part, you know, that gives you those butterflies and like that flirtiness and stuff, but their relationship really goes a lot deeper than that. But yeah, I just wish there was a little bit more of that kind of fiery passion between them. And maybe I just wasn't picking up on it as much, or honestly, you know what it is, I'm probably just jaded from the other books I've read because a lot of the books that I've read are just solely focused on the relationship and like the entire book is just romance so they're able to like focus more on the relationship whereas A Court of Mist and Fury you know you have like the whole fantasy side with the politics and the war and yeah but it's really good. I did buy the third book. I haven't started it yet because I didn't have the book yet. I had to go out and buy it so before I bought it I started reading a different book and yeah I'm reading something else right now which I have no business reading. <laughs> it's called A Cage of Crimson and honestly it is probably the most vulgar book I've ever read. It is very spicy. Like five out of five on the spice level. And there's a lot of just like vulgar jokes in it that yeah but it's good. It's kind of like a spicy rendition of Little Red Riding Hood and the Big Bad Wolf but I am enjoying it so there's that. <laughs> Okay, well I know this video is about food so I'm not gonna bore y'all to death with the book talk, but this coffee is actually really good. I would probably give this a solid eight out of 10. It is something I would order again. Very delicious, gotta say. The snack and bacon, this is 10 out of 10. I love this. And then for the sandwich, I feel like it would be better with some hot honey drizzled on it or something. Actually, it's supposed to have hot honey drizzled on it. It literally said Mike's hot honey. Maybe it absorbed into the bread. Yeah, I don't really taste any like honey drizzled on it. So that's my only complaint with this sandwich. I wish it just had a little bit more of a juice to it or something, but I'm gonna give it an eight out of 10. Okay, well, I will see you guys at our next location for more new fast food items. Okay guys, this next item is super exciting. It is from Arby's and it is their potato cakes. I have been hearing about this item from y'all for years now. They are returning but they are new to me. I've never tried them before. And yeah, I've heard from so many of y'all how good they are. So I am very, very excited. But it says that they were taken off their menu back in 2021 when Arby's introduced the crinkle fries, which I didn't even know that Arby's didn't bring the crinkle fries in until 2021. So the more you know. But yeah, 2021 is when they took them off. They are back on the menu only for a limited time. So we need to go try them. Welcome to Arby's. What can I get for you today? Hi, um, can I get a side of the potato cakes please how many two three or four um i'll do four anything else for you today no that's gonna be it it's gonna be 351 at the window okay thank you i was so tempted to get something else the beef and cheddar sounds so good right now but i'm not, like super hungry after that dunkin hi how's it going good how are you good cool, let me ride up okay one. thank you cool. do you want any sauces? um it, are they good with sauce have you tried them before Oh, really? Okay, I'll take some sauce. Whatever you think is good with them. Okay, thank you. Have a good day. All right, you guys, we've secured our Arby's bag. I don't know if y'all heard her. She like whispered it because she asked me if I wanted sauce. I was like, are they good with sauce? Because I've never tried them before. She like whispers to me through the window and she goes, these are bland without sauce. But she could just not be a potato lover. I feel like I'm gonna love them because they look like hash brown cakes to me. And I love me some hash browns. I mean, y'all know I am a potato girly. We love potatoes on this channel. Yes, we do. Okay, well, moment of truth. Let's try them. She did give me barbecue and some ketchup. Ooh, these things are massive. I did not think they were gonna be this big. They're also really hot, so I think I'm gonna give them a little bit of time to cool down. You guys, oh my. I can't stop thinking about these books. Like, every minute my mind goes back to A Court of Thorns and Roses book series, which what do y'all call it for short? I know a lot of people abbreviate it with the letters. I read it out loud as ACOTAR. Do y'all say ACOTAR or do y'all say A-C-O-T-A-R? Or, 
or do y'all say Akatar? I don't know. In my head, I just say Akatar. But yeah, I probably sound ridiculous right now. But I just can't stop thinking about those books. I'm really, I, I feel like I'm literally going crazy. I just haven't loved a series this much since I read Twilight. And I read Twilight back when I was, I want to say in middle school. I think like elementary going into middle school. All the other books I've read since then has not been a series. I haven't read a full on book series in forever. And yeah, I just can't stop thinking about them. I haven't even been able to go to sleep at night because my mind just races thinking about these books. It's very unhealthy. Anyways, let's see if these are cooled down now. Ooh. Honestly, these taste so similar to the bow rounds at Bojangles, but with less flavor. I definitely think that they need ketchup for sure. Oh my gosh, yeah. I gotta be honest though, I don't quite get the hype of these. I mean, yeah, they're good, but it's literally just a hash brown. I feel like so many people were going crazy for these. I mean, they're very delicious, but I feel like every fast food spot sells hash browns. Or maybe it's just where I live in the South. We have hash browns are really popular here, so everywhere has them. I will say the texture is fire. Like, they are so crispy on the outside and then really soft and hot on the inside. Maybe it's good with the barbecue. I have never tried a hash brown with barbecue before. Honestly, it's not bad. I definitely prefer it with the ketchup, but the barbecue is very interesting. If y'all like these, I really hope y'all can try the bow rounds one day at Bojangles because those kind of put these to shame. Just saying, just saying, okay. That was Arby's. I will see you guys at our next location. All right, you guys, we are at our final spot, which is Subway. I did already get our food because I figured this video is probably long enough as it is with all my babbling and whatnot. So I got one of their new dippers. They have three new dippers, as they call them. They have a pepperoni and cheese dipper, a chicken and cheese dipper, and then a double cheese dipper. Basically, they're supposed to be foot long, rolled up quesadilla type food items, and they do look really delicious. I did just get the pepperoni pepperoni and cheese dipper because I figured if they really are a foot long that would probably be enough to get a taste and feel for the item. Now these did come out maybe like two and a half weeks ago so they have been out for a while. If you guys have tried them let me know what you think. If you tried any of the items in this video let me know what y'all think of them. But I did get two different sauces to try because you can choose pretty much any sauce that they offer to go with the dipper. So I got the Baja Chipotle as well as the garlic aioli because those two kind of sounded like the best to dip something like this into. Okay, so there's actually half of it. They do cut it in half, so you get you get pretty much two six-inch pieces in there. I think I'm going to try it with the Baja Chipotle first. All right, we got it all sauced up. Okay, right off the bat, I gotta say, I don't know if I love it. Just because their tortilla is a little chewy, let's try it without the sauce. Hmm. Okay, to be honest, I kind of like it better without the Baja Chipotle. Maybe it's the Chipotle that's throwing me off. I mean, still the texture of the tortilla is not like amazing but let's try it with the garlic aioli because i feel like garlic goes better with pepperoni oh my gosh yeah okay that garlic aioli that is amazing next time i go to subway and get a sub i may have to get this on my sub Oh, 
Okay, this is actually really good with a garlic aioli. I do still think the tortilla is a little bit too thick and chewy for my liking, but the pepperoni and cheese on the inside is good. The garlic aioli really makes this though. Oh, that's good. Okay, hmm, let me find my words here. I don't know if it's an item that I would go back for. I'd probably give it maybe like a six out of 10. It's not bad by any means. I would definitely give it a try to see if it's something you like. Again, if y'all have already tried the dippers, let me know what you think, I'm very curious. I think for me, it's just something about the tortilla that's kind of throwing me off. But I have found a new love for the garlic caoli at Subway. This sauce, this sauce is so good. I feel like actual pizza dipped in here. Oh my gosh, like Papa John's Pizza Hut, they need to get their hands on this recipe, okay? Because this is amazing. I do love classic garlic sauce that those places already have. This sauce is kind of a more thicker dressing type consistency. And yeah, I feel like this would be perfect for some pizza. But yeah, you guys, that was all of the new fast food items that I wanted to try with y'all in this video. There's a lot of new items that are coming out in the near future. So I'll probably have to do another one of these very soon, which again, I'm trying to do it every so often often so we can stay on top of the new items but i love you guys so so much thank you all for watching please drop a thumbs up down below and i will see you guys in my next video bye guys yeah.